we are all mortal until the first kiss and the second glass of wine. And with that quote begins wine experts Mark Oldman's newest book, How to Drink Like a Billionaire. And the author joins us now to help uncork some of the corkiness behind wine. Good morning, Mark. How are you? I'm awesome, Natalie. Great to be here. Well, we are so excited to talk with you. I got to tell you, I flipped through this book and I absolutely love how it's set up. It really is a how-to filled with tips on what to do, what not to do from everything under the sun. Talk about creating it. Oh, yeah. It was a labor of love. I mean, basically, my style is I don't want to bore people with science and history and malolactic fermentation. Wine's too filled with that. I want to give them easily implemented nuggets of wine wisdom. So you have 120 nugget-sized chapters on what you really need and what you don't need to do for drinking like a billionaire. Well, again, the title captures our attention, and I am officially toasting to the book. I have a glass of rosé in hand as we're getting ready to talk, and I want to dive into some of the myths, for instance. Like, to drink like a billionaire doesn't mean you have to order the most expensive wine on the menu, right? It absolutely doesn't. In fact, price is not necessarily proportionate to deliciousness. After a certain price point, with certain types of wine, it can be $20, it can be $25. You're paying less for the inherent quality of the wine and more for things like marketing or because they want you to perceive the wine as more valuable. So myth busting, the billionaire knows how to bust myths. And I will say, I love that you're drinking rosé. Rosé is the flavor of the moment right now. But one of the things I talk about in the book is that you don't necessarily have to stick with rosé in the summertime. And I have four really good alternatives to rosé that are summer friendly. Okay, Mark, I'm that person too that when I go wine shopping, like I'll pull up a picture of a wine label that I've liked in the past. So I'm so glad you're going to share with, some, with us some of your favorites right now for summer. Yeah, it's really important because, you know, I love rosé. You see rosé all day, Yes Way Rosé. I drink it. Uh, I, I drink it a few times a week probably. But if I want to diversify and the billionaire drinker diversifies, uh, A, I would go with Fumé Blanc. Have you heard of Mondavi's Fumé Blanc? I have, yes. It's really good. It's the same exact grape as Sauvignon Blanc, but they call it Fumé Blanc. Uh, to differentiate it from there used to be these sweet kind of simple versions out there, but this is really elevated. It's citrusy and it's peachy. We'll go with everything on the summer table. Now, that's Sauvignon Blanc. Those are for people who kind of like lighter white wines. If you like your white wine with a little bit of richness, of course, you go to Chardonnay. And one of the great things about Behringer's uh, luminous Chardonnay, luminous means light in Latin, is it's metaphorically lighter. It's not like that Chardonnay that hits you over the head with the oak two by four. Some, some of these Chardonnays are so rich, they're almost like a vanilla milkshake and maybe a little too rich for food. This is the perfect balance of not too much oak. And Behringer really hits it. Look at that 24 karat gold color. And with a, a richer white like this, Here's another rule break you'll find in How to Drink Like a Billionaire. It's perfect with uh, grilled food, even burgers. It's rich enough to stand up to a burger. So it's ab absolutely delicious. I was going to say, I, I love that I have heard of those brands, and I hadn't heard of that second one there. So I'm glad you're talking about those, and we're already starting to run out of time. So I'll let you get to your other two, because we want to hear about all of your suggestions. Well, very quickly, the great golfer, uh, Greg Norman, uh, the shock, they call him, Red Shark, Unbelievable blend from beautiful Paso Robles in California. Very approachable. So approachable you can stick ice in it and not even worry about it. Knock it back at your summer picnic. And then finally, the iconic Australian brand. Makers of the $1,000 bottle, but this is Max's Cabernet. It's only $25 from Penfolds. Penfolds is the iconic brand. But let me, Natalie, show you this incredible packaging. I love great tasting wine that has amazing packaging. You basically give the bottle a strip tease. Check it out. <laughs> Boom. Nice. And it unsheaths to a more traditional label, but the wine itself 
is amazing. It's big and plummy and smells of expensive Italian leather. Good. Well, and I got to say, I love that you talked about presentation because that was one of the tips that you shared in your book about giving a gift. Again, I enjoyed this. I enjoy your wine suggestions. I guess I got to go shopping now. Thank you so much, Mark. We always appreciate your time.